alcohol addicts, it's important uh, for them to have uh, an assessment initially to establish the level of dependency. Uh, we break down uh, alcohol misuse into generally three categories. You've got the hazardous users, the harmful users, and the alcohol addicts. The hazardous users are the ones who, for example, binge on Saturday night and drink far more than they should, and they could become intoxicated, they could fall over, they get into, the, into a fight, uh, and they may need to have uh, tre treatment for uh, a short-term physical health problem. Uh, the harmful users are the ones who drink too much without any acute risks. However, in the long term, it can, they can they are causing damage to the bodies. The alcohol addicts, they are the ones who have to drink pretty much all the time, from first thing in the morning and sometimes throughout the night. If they don't drink, they have withdrawal symptoms. They have shakes, sweats, and down the line, uh, that it can lead to uh, withdrawal seizures. Uh, the treatments available depends on the level of dependency. Uh, at, at the severe end, a uh, patient needs to be admitted to have an alcohol detoxification. Uh, for minor or milder addictions, uh, this can be done in the community. So a detox regimen can be written by a community nurse uh, and be, be carried out at home. Uh, sometimes, if patient has control over their intake uh, with a diary, with a simple diary, the specialist can monitor reduction in alcohol intake. So if they take, say, five cans uh, a day, it can be very gradually reduced to four, three, two, one, with the aim of discontinuing.